These are the adventures of Fred the Fish. He had a wish to swim downstream. It was his dream. It was his dream. It was his dream. Fred left the nature preserve where the water was clean and pure. He said that he would be sure that he would be seeing more of the same. Fred swam down to a farm, and there was much alarm. The water was murky, and it clogged his gills. He had no thrills. The farmer plowed down to the bank. All the manure washed in, and it stank. And Fred said, let's be frank. This water rots. Fred said, ooh, ooh, it's brown. Ooh, ooh. It's brown, oh it's brown, and it puts a frown on my face, and soil and manure are displaced, these are resources the farmer should not waste. Fred continued downstream and he let out a scream. Everything was green, he could not breathe. All he could say was gas. The nutrients from the farm made a jungle in the stream. The decaying plants took up all the oxygen. As it seems, Fred was about to lose his dream. Fred came to a highway overpass and said, I think I better watch my rear. All this oil is making me feel ill. And all the salt from the road is drying me out. I think I'm gonna shout. But Fred felt weak, and all he could say was this. This is what he said. Ooh, ooh, this stinks. Ooh, ooh, this stinks. It stinks really bad, and it makes me really mad. And really, really sad. This is the worst water I ever had. Fred tried to turn around because he was weak and had a rash. But he could not find his way through all that trash. Fred drifted past the factory. Now Fred was hot. He said, thanks a lot for making all my fins rot. Fred drifted some more and said, uh, what is this? I'm tired of all this waste. Raw sewage from a broken treatment plant. Such a terrible taste. Fred came to a toxic waste dump in a slump. He said, this journey was no fun. I'm all done. Fred knew he was about to die. So he asked one last question, why? Oh, why, Fred said. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? He wondered why, and he sighed, and he cried, and he wondered why they lied. And he took his final breath, and then he died. This is the alternate ending to Fred's journey.
Shortbread swam down to an organic farm. This time there was no alarm. There were no pesticides to do him any harm. The farmer did not plow all the way uh, to the bank. He left the buffer. This kept out all the manure that stank so the water did not suffer. Fred came to some fishermen who had a lure and a line. He said, that's fine, I don't mind. They pay fees to help the stream free from swine. Fred came to a town in anywhere USA. It had a working treatment plant so the water was okay. Fred said, ooh, ooh, this is nice. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Thank you so much for the clean water and the air. I'm so glad I'm here. Thank you so much for showing that you care. town had a school where the kids knew it was cool to recycle and keep their community clean. Fred was happy to be finally living in his dream. The citizens of the town were very friendly here. They organized a lot of cleanups each and every year. Fred came to a city and his fins had no rod. The factories had cooling towers, so the water was not hot. The police in the city were there to stop the crime. They gave the litterers a really big fine. Fred said, ooh, ooh, this is nice. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Thanks so much for the clean water and the air. I'm so glad I am here. Thank you so much for showing that you care.